All right, so here we are at La Fortaleza. We're gonna walk around and check this place out a bit and I'll try to give you some more info on it. Located along the Ozama River, this mighty fortress was constructed during the first decade of the 1500s. Governor Nicolas Ovando presided over this project, which was aimed at securing the settlement's waterways against the threat of pirate attacks and other potential invaders. Here, in the enormous courtyard, we see a statue of Gonzalo Fernandez de Oviedo, who was a Spanish soldier that was later appointed as historian of the West Indies. At one time, he was in charge of this mighty fortress, as well as the gold smelting operations of Santo Domingo. The tall structure that acts as the centerpiece is called the Tower of Tribute. It is said that this is where it all started, and the exterior walls would later follow. All around you will notice a massive amount of firepower securing this stronghold. We'll take a closer look at that later on. But right now, let's see what's inside. In we go. Through this passageway you will immediately be treated to some amazing architecture. But one thing that will surely draw your attention is the barred cell located straight ahead. It turns out that this place also functioned as a prison and provided accommodations for some pretty notable people. Looks like a good place for me, doesn't it? Yes, there are times you definitely should have ended up in one of those. Interestingly enough, they say that the famous explorer Christopher Columbus spent some time in here. And even the founding father of the Dominican Republic, Juan Pablo Duarte, was jailed in this place by his political opponents. Sound familiar? Yes, it seems that corruption runs deep all over the world. But right now, we're going to head deep into the fortress interior. As you can see, this place has a very sturdy design. Even if one was to get past those cannons outside, it would still be a very difficult task to breach the defenses of the main building. Notice the angled slits in the walls? This allows for bowmen to easily acquire their target while there would be minimal chance of penetration from the outside. This spiral staircase leads to the upward levels with access to the Tower of Tribute and the Warden's Chambers. I ventured up there, but unfortunately current construction prevented me from accessing those upper rooms. Let's keep on exploring a bit. Back outside, I am now going to show you one of the buildings I found most interesting. The architectural design of this structure gives it the vibe of a church or some type of ceremonial hall. Don't let that fool you, this place was actually the powder keg. Why it's unusual design? To confuse the enemy of course. Notice the zigzag entrance. This was to prevent stray sparks from igniting the explosive stockpile held within. And right here is where they once stored all that firepower. I can't help but notice that one wall stops a bit short, like there may be some kind of a hidden room. But that's none of my business, time to move on. And now just around the corner we have a view of another large battery of cannons lining the perimeter. This is what all that firepower was being stored up for. In total, several dozen cannons were required to adequately defend this stronghold. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and be sure to stick around because there is much more to come, as I am getting ready to head back for another round of Europe. Until then, hasta luego from the Dominican Republic.